Hello and welcome to the Visevo training series. In this lesson, we will be covering the admin users located within the preferences area. This lesson will include adding admin users to your account, adding a new admin user, personal information, login information, integration, notifications, and API tokens. Let's begin by logging into the Presevo admin with the information provided to you. In order to locate the admin users, go to the Preferences tab, click on Admin Users. The very first topic would be adding admin users to your account. You can add an unlimited number of admin users. This will be anyone who has access to the Presevo admin area and will be making changes in the system or needs to get the order information. The type of access they have can be controlled by you by assigning them to an admin group and setting specific permissions to each group. Let's see how you can add a new admin users. To create a new administrative user, select the add new link at the top of the page. You will see a form like option. The very first is the personal information section that has the field first name. It is a required field. Enter the first name of the user, last name, the last name of the user, title. It is an optional field, allow you to enter the user's title, email address. Again, this is a required field. This is the default login value for the account. Fax. Optional field allow you to enter the user's fax number. Time zone. Make sure to select the correct time zone for the user so their view for order and email dates time is correct. Create date. This is for the informational field only. After the record is created, the day and time will be noted here. That is the reason you see the last login and created date as log grayed out. If that field is blank on a user account that already exists, it means the record was created before we started collecting in this information. Same goes for the last login. This is an informational only field. Each time this user logs in into the administrative area, the date and time will be recorded here. The next section is the login details. Username. This is optional, but if your user would prefer to log in into the admin area using a username instead of the email address, enter one here. The add character cannot be used in a username. You can create a user without a login username value. It is only required that the user has an email address to log in. New password and confirm password. This is required. After entering the password, you must confirm it to make sure you entered it correctly. You will not see this entry when you return to the user account after saving for security reasons. If an admin user forgot the password, a new password will need to be entered here and the account will need to be resaved. The next section is integration that has the field integration ID. If this user is using an integration with the MIS system, use this input to tie the user account back to the MIS system. The next section is email notifications and where there is a checkbox known as receive email notification. The Presevo system will generate email notification from the system when certain events happen. This could be when an order is placed, when a file has been uploaded to a form on a page, when a proof is approved, etc. If you want this particular admin user to receive these notification, send to the email address set up here, then check this box. Please note, Using admin groups, you can limit the admin user to get notification for certain stores in the account. The next section is assigning an admin group to the admin user. Here you have to select at least one admin group to this specific admin user. The last section is the API tokens. API tokens are used when a user does not want an admin password to access the API. Instead of setting it up with a password, a token is used in its place. 
API token are also used so that expiring password do not break the API. By default, API token does not expire. So if the admin password changes, the token would keep working until the user either disable it or sets an expiration date. The API token section only appear after a new user is created. Click on the add API token button to create a new API token. Expiration date, optional field, click inside the field and click on the calendar or clock icon to set an expiration date and time. Description, enter text to save information about the API token. Is active. If is active is unchecked, the API token will be inactive whether it is expired or not. Make sure to click to save your changes. Once you create the API token, you can copy an API token to paste into the application. Click the copy button as shown. Let's see how we can just create a quickly the API token. As you can see, I have created an API token. Now I have the copy button. This can be used as a password. This was all about the admin users. Thank you for watching this video.